I heard the other day about a public radio program that is testing voters' saliva for hormone levels. But we don't need a spit test to tell us people are stressed. The 2016 U.S. elections taking place on shifting sands by every possible measure. The U.S. is coming of age right now, and it is no longer confidently affluent, on top of the world, or determined by men and whites. Millennials, those aged 18 to 32, finally make up as much of the population as baby boomers. And 2016 voters are more racially diverse than ever, with a higher percentage of unmarried women and eligible voters of color. The America of the future is here. Even if the Trump campaign would have voters believe it's possible to deport, defund, demean, and shoot it dead, it's not. That's why I especially like the title of Jeff Chang's latest book, We Gonna Be All Right. We may differ on what all right is, but we gonna be we no matter what. Donald Trump selling segregationist snake oil. Millions of repatriated immigrants won't roll back globalization any more than we can reconfine love or gender or re-legislate hate. Research by the Washington Post suggests that Trump's base isn't even themselves in crisis. Their wages, while low, are about on par for whites. The places where they live are in transition, but not the streets they live on. They're stressed onlookers. So let's talk about what's possible, even when people are stressed. No one, let's be clear, is more stressed than Native Americans in North America. And yet 500 distinct groups of them came together this year to protest that Dakota pipeline. Prisons are our most stressed out places, but hundreds of stressed out prisoners collaborated this year to pull off a historic labor strike. Heck, 12 million fractious leftists managed to get behind a Democrat, albeit one calling himself a socialist. And then they went ahead and worked with their opponents to craft a party platform that's the most progressive in decades. Are we going to be all right? That depends on us. But we're going to be we, even with, heaven forbid, a hater in the White House. So let's not let it happen. More information is at lauraflanders.com, and you can write to me and tell me what you think. Laura, L-A-U-R-A, at lauraflanders.com, and thanks.